And now let's welcome to the ring fighting tonight out of the blue corner, Lehan, the Lion Woodstock. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for eight rounds, and it is a international super featherweight contest. Brought to you by Frank Warren on behalf of Queensberry Promotions, along with their great sponsors, 32 Red and Foot Asylum. When the bell rings, our referee in charge and scoring this contest will be Kevin Parker. Introducing to you first, fighting tonight out of the red corner, he's wearing purple with black and weighed in at nine stone, three pounds. Coming to us from Barcelona, Catalonia, Spain. He has a professional record consisting of 10 wins, 13 defeats, five draws, with seven of his 10 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sergio El Torito Gonzalez. And his opponent across the ring fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He's wearing black and weighed in at nine stone, five pounds, seven ounces. Hailing from right here, Leicester, England. He has a professional record of 11 wins, just one defeat with seven of his 11 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Leon the Lion Woodstock. Both know the rules. I expect a clean fight. Watch your heads. No low blows. Obey my commands at all times. Above all, protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves. Thank you. Big support for Leon Woodstock, the 25-year-old. Based in Leicester. For the first round. And coming back here from a defeat against Archie Sharp. He lost against Sharp right here in this arena. He said to me earlier this week, it wasn't a big setback, it's just a step along the way and I'll learn from it. Do you know what, that's a, the fantastic attitude they have because it was a great fight by the way, let's not forget, it really was. Right at the end of the night, it was worth waiting for, wasn't it? It was just two guys who didn't want to do anything not to lose. But he's right, you know, you go in there, you do your best and, you, and, if, you, and if, you don't, if you come off second best, it's no big deal. You, you, know, you pick yourself up and, you, and, and it shows character to come back. And I think it, you know, what he's been saying all week and his, his mental state shows, I know he is full of character. We know he's full of talent, so you know, he's still got a, a, a bright future in the game. And of course, somewhere down the line, there is the hope still very much that he will wind up fighting Sam Bowen. There's already plenty of spicy exchanges between the two of them. And Leon actually said, if I had that fight this weekend, I'd be ready for it. And Sam Bowen basically said to him, OK, you want it, bring it on. A hard fight. Another hard. He's had a few hard fights already, to be fair, Woodstock. The Poxton fight was a really oh, hard that fight. Was a, that was a war, wasn't it? And the Archie Sharp fight was a tough fight as well. So, oh, nice right hand there from Woodstock. Big height and reach advantage here. Sergio Gonzalez. <laughs> Born in Nicaragua, now but now based in Spain. Some four and a half inches shorter than Woodstock, only five foot four and a half. Apparently, once upon a time, he's there. He sparred 
Roman Gonzalez. Wow. Wasn't Naz like five foot four and a half? He was about Naz, Naz was shorter. Sorry, was what? Sorry? About well, five foot four, wasn't he? Naz? Oh, yeah, yeah, well, five three, five three, five four, yeah. Something else. Giants compared to these guys. Positive skyscraper. Nice well, and controlled here from Woodstock. He's not getting carried away, just working behind the jab. Keeping that distance. Gonzalez only with 10 wins in 28 fights. Claims a reasonable amateur record before that. Certainly prepared to give it a bit of a go. That's Woodstock. He doesn't need to close the distance there, Woodstock. There's no need for him to do that. All the punches need, need to be on, keep this guy on the end of the long shots. That makes it an easy night's work for him. And also, that's where all the power for Woodstock is. Gray's on the right of the forehead of, uh, of Leon Woodstock. Oh, well, entertaining opening round. Let's have a listen into the corner. This is Ashmal Bolt with Leon Woodstock. Come back up. Deep breaths. See, I love the, I love the structure. Yeah. The shape is beautiful, yeah? But when we've got a good feet and we've got eight rounds, my scraps want to use them legs as well, don't we? You know, the double skip, my bank. Look, double skips. Double skips, a quick on. Nice jab, beautiful, yeah? So it's a right ten round the corner again. Yeah. And here's some of the action from that opening round. Gonzalez trying to get inside that reach and trying to put pressure on. But when Woodstock, when Woodstock throws the shorter shots, there you can see you can see Gonzalez is in range and he can let his hands go. But when Woodstock was throwing that double jab and that long right hand, corners ten seconds. He had nice, the nice safe distance, only powering in those punches, and Gonzalez had no Seven answer. Out. Round two. Second round of an eight rounder. Leon Woodstock. Local favourite from the Beaumont Lees estate in Leicester. Again, there was like through a nice little faintly with a jab, through a nice long left hook and a right hand, and then sort of just stepped onto the up, up to Gonzalez, chest to his to his to his head because he's a short guy. But then Gonzalez can work away. Then no need for it. Fight against Archie Sharp in his uh, last appearance in this arena he got clipped in the very first round Woodstock got put down and he was he was always chasing the fight after that yeah he was but I think you know I think it showed good character that you know he, he gets knocked down you know, hurt gets up dusts himself off and, and he had a really good go you know and he lost and it was only it was and it was right you know Sharp was, was, was there was only one winner it was, and it was actually Sharp but you know, Woodstock gave as good as he got throughout the fight see a lot of prospects once they get hurt or they start you know or, or they or they get put down, they panic and they fall apart. You've, you've seen it time and time again, John. Well, it's sometimes a bit of a modern preoccupation with the O, isn't it? Maintaining that undefeated yeah. record. You look back at the, the history of the sport and there's been many of the greatest fighters who've had setbacks sometimes early in their career and come through and establish themselves as tremendous fighters. Thank you. <laughs> I'm only joking. I lost and I retired. <laughs> Good job. You could mention Hopkins, you could mention Hagler, there are, there are a lot of huge names. Richie Will lost, lost the world title shot and came back and won the world title, so you know. Well, Gonzalez is really getting stuck in. Oh, Wait too long to show the jab though there. Is Liam Woodstock, and that just allows Gonzalez a little bit of momentum that he doesn't need to keep. He just keeps stabbing that jab in his face all the time. He got the footwork there. He can take a little little half a step back then when Gonzalez fight, fires in. Because Gonzalez got to jump in with his attacks. Because he has that short reach, so keep stabbing him with the jab there. A little step up like that gives you a chance to move or come back, but don't hold your feet and you get caught, as we're seeing here. Yeah, caught a couple of times quite solidly there. And this time it's Woodstock who just wants to hold on for a second or two. Nice little uppercut there yeah, from Woodstock. Good little right hand, wouldn't it, inside? 
That's a good jab there from Woodstock. I think it's, Gonzalez is cuffing with open hands with those hooks. I don't think they're, they're worrying Woodstock yet. That's good. Another entertaining round. Fans who've come along early to watch this enjoying it. Yeah. I don't want you moving around the same way all the time as well, yeah? So when you're here, look, boom, 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 off that way. Or boom, boom, and move off that way. When you throw the right hook, move off to your right and move round in that way, yeah? I just don't want you to get too involved. I don't want to risk it. That movement there, as you've just seen there from Woodstock, the little one-two and a step back, that's what he needs to do. Not put yourself on the rope, step back, come back, or take a little step to the side. Being told by his corner just not to get too involved at this stage of the fight. He just planted his feet a little bit too much and then allowing Gonzalez to engage with him. And he, and, you know, he has all the attributes and the, and the advantages with the reach and the height to not have to do that. That's all. With, with, with 10 seconds. The thing with Woodstock, he likes to get involved in a little bit of a fight. That's his, that's his nature. And that's something that maybe they need to just. It can be a weakness, can't it? Of course it can. You get involved in wars and it gives a short career. So. You just need to stamp that out a little bit because he can box. He has nice fast hands, fast feet, he's athletic. So third round of this eight rounder. First fight back for Leon Woodstock since that defeat against Archie Sharp and his loss of his WBO European title. But also, sorry, also, he's comfortable with Gonzalez because Gonzalez is hitting him in the open hands, they you know, sort of slaps, so that they're not hurting Woodstock, so I think he's happy just to stay there sometimes and block and try and counter. It's a serious tattoo Leon Woodstock's had since his last outing. I'm told there's 12 hours worth of artwork yeah, across his chest there. It's crazy, isn't it? I, think, I, I don't think you're allowed, when you go for your professional boxing license, no, you don't get in unless you have a tattoo. <laughs> You don't, need no, you don't need no experience as an amateur, but you have to have a tattoo. Well, that is certainly some size. <laughs> Good uppercut there from Woodstock. That's nice. See, that's just a little step back. It just overemphasizes the good work you've done. Oh, you, 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 you just produced and then just to go back and you can either just walk away or go back and engage in, a, in, a, in the next phase Chris Pyatt's been working in that gym I know he's been helping oh, wow. with Leon Woodstock and CJ Challenger goes out running with them what a good fight that Chris was excellent it's good there from Woodstock and again that's it, look at it, that's what he should be doing all night long now. In and out with the feet. Oh, good shot. There you go, he switched on, hasn't he, in this round? Starting to really get on top here, Woodstock, I think. He's got a good rhythm to his work now. hand there from Gonzalez just doesn't have the power does he really the trouble Woodstock no, he looks a, a lighter division doesn't he really nice. box well in this round Leon Woodstock yes yeah, so, sort of after like a minute of the round he's just got a bit of rhythm a bit of float to his work and produce some good quality stuff in that round definitely his best round of the fight so far it's a father-son relationship, Ashmal Butt and Leon Woodstock. And here's some of the action from that round. Nice body shot from Gonzalez, but there were some really sweet moves. There's a great left hand from Woodstock. Okay, back in spades there, one is a lovely left hook right there from Woodstock. It's a lovely combo. That's a really good combination. That is right hand to the top of the head, the stand. It lifts the elbows up, 
dips down and doubles up with the left hook. Ya lo tenemos, vale, este trabajo vale. boxer is the little bull. So, certainly got a charging in now. Fourth round. He might be a little bull in the way that he keeps coming forward, but he needs to find some clean shots to dissuade Woodstock, who signs in that last round that he was really starting to get on top. That was a little bit better from Woodstock. I don't like him when he's close up, but when he was, he sort of dipped his legs a bit and got a little bit. He got his head lower than Gonzalez, and that was then he produced a little nice little left hook over the top. With a guy like this as well who follows you around, you just keep changing direction. Because he has to reset himself all the time. That'll frustrate him, and, he, and then he'll start swinging wild and leaving gaps for you. And this is all guy, if you stand in front of him, you'll fight all day long. So you know, make him chase you, but he hasn't got the intelligence to cut the ring off. He just follows you around. So you can change direction, confuse him, make, wait for him to make a mistake, and then jump all over him. Nice. Good body shot there from Woodstock. Gonzalez has been stopped in the past on four occasions. Is Woodstock going to be able to add to that tally? Doesn't look it, does he? No, he's not no. some nice shots, and, he, and he's not loading up to be fair. Woodstock, he's staying nice and relaxed and loose. Nice shot, lovely up the first. Left hook there, though, from Gonzalez. <laughs> oh, lovely shot. Really sweet little left hand brought up by Woodstock, but Gonzalez not being dissuaded. A sort of little fire under Gonzalez, a little bit more than the shot. The little movement before the shot was fantastic as well. The little dip, the little shimmy of the shoulders before he let that left hook go. Big effort from Gonzalez oh, in this right round. Hand. That was a right hand there from Woodstock. <laughs> Halfway stage. Woodstock firmly in control. Take a deep breath. How are you feeling? Good. Everything good? Hands yeah. good, everything yet? Yeah? You see, when you throw your shots, you're not staying in front of you, waiting for you to throw, and then he's throwing. So, what you, bang, 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 and when you move up to the side, you notice how he swung. Every time you go left and right off your shots, he's always found one, and then you've got to come back. Well, there's a big effort from Gonzalez in this round, but there's a nice left hand from Woodstock. And he's really having to work Woodstock. He is, and he's, he's producing some good stuff, John, but you're right, he is having to work. He threw a lot of punches in that round, he really did. And he had to, because Gonzalez just keeps marching forward. You know, there's not a load of intelligence in his work, but he's committed to just trudging forward, trying to close the gap and work away. So into the second half of the fight, round five of an eight-rounder. Leon Woodstock, right hand side of your picture, firmly in control. Oh, 
shot there from Gonzalez. Lovely right hand over the top. And he sort of, he sort of asked for that there, Woodstock. He's sitting on the ropes. And I understand he's trying to be a little bit cute. You know, he's trying to set something up. But you know, don't do it. Just do it in the middle of the ring. Make it easy for yourself. Nice, lovely little thing there. Switch hitting Woodstock. Just gotta be careful he doesn't just get jumped on by Gonzalez when he's when he's switching his feet. He's doing it too close to the target, I think, for my liking. Good shot there for Gonzalez. Yeah, May Woodstock blink that right hand. Just, just about to see. It looks like he's pushing his punches a little bit, doesn't it, Woodstock? He didn't then, of course. That was a nice little fluency to his work. But it looks like he's just having to force it just a little bit. And what would you attribute that to? Well, it could be just sometimes his weight, you no know, stale, or you know, just just a little bit of ring rust, possibly overtrained. There's loads of things that it can be. Another right sometimes, hand from Gonzalez there. Sometimes getting up for fights, John. You know, you've really been in some big fights, which he has asked lovely you know. He's maybe finding Gonzalez a slightly tougher proposition than uh, than he might have imagined he was going to get. He didn't, oh, nice. by his own admission, he didn't know a lot about him. No knockdown there. Didn't know a lot about him. And maybe it's just a wee bit tougher than he thought it was going to be. And an inspiring. You know, he's, he's got a TV star. It's an inspiring a little bit for him because you know he's he's been in, in fights where you know there's been a lot of attention on him and these sort of mad time fights for bigger ones and he can sometimes be hard to get up for mentally. That's better, good work. Much better. Good way to finish the round for Woodstock. Close around though. But he's showing flashes of really good work. And that's important. Good deep breath. Gonzalez, bit of head work there. Best shot you threw all night. <laughs> Lucky though, lucky there, Gonzalez. Think of something. Um, Woodstock, you didn't get that. Didn't open a cut there on the eye. Referee Kevin Parker. Well, if he didn't see it, he certainly didn't say anything about it. And Woodstock's not a put, well, no one to moan to his credit. We've seen that in the past, but and I think he had a really good start to the round there. With, um, with Gonzalez. Seconds out. Round six. There's an argument that Woodstock's won every round to this point. But Gonzalez is still in their pitching and giving the Leicester favourites a real good workout. And that's, that, to be honest, that's probably all it is, to be honest. He's, he's, not, he's not massively shining Woodstock, he's winning quite comfortable. I think he, he's got more gears to go through. He's just doing enough that he and every now and again he puts flashes of good work. There, there's a, a point in case there, case in point there, and I just think that you know Gonzalez is just like you said, just making him work a little bit for it. More than, he, than he's used to in these sort of lower level fights. Volume of punches Woodstock's maintained throughout the throughout the fight. He's thrown an awful lot of leather. No, he really has, and I think that's, I think that's important, especially with the, with, the, with the left hand there. He's popping it out all the time. Just needs a little bit of explosion in the punch. He does it every now and again. He throws a fast combination. I think just changing the pace of the punches is quite important. Smear of blood now from the nostrils of Gonzalez, who's still trying to keep the pressure on. I'm saying Gonzalez got nothing to trouble Woodstock. I don't think Woodstock got anything to trouble Gonzalez, to be fair. 
Landed with a good shot there, Woodstock, and Gonzalez is happy to throw with him. Barely taking a backward step all night, Gonzalez. That's good. Clashing again. <laughs> oh, lovely. Fantastic. And the blood starts to flow a little bit more visibly and strongly from the nose of Sergio Gonzalez. It's a lovely combination he throws Woodstock. He don't throw a left-right, left hook, like, which would be tra a traditional combination. He throws a left-right, left uppercut. And he gets right through the guard with it. Clipped right on the bell, Woodstock, by a right hand from Gonzalez, but another round for the Leicester favourite. <laughs> Well, here's some of that work you're talking about. Lovely right hand finishing off that attack. It's good, yeah. And then two, two to the body there, and then you, know, you, you drop the, the the elbow's got to come down to protect him, and just a little gap there for that right hand over the top. And there's that lovely uppercut in close. Really nice shot. But you see Gonzalez, just see it there at the end of that. He's, he's looking to throw back straight away, Gonzalez, to his credit. You're a tough kid. Woodstock clearly in front. Probably taken every round. It may well be a shutout, this one, Barry. But I just heard him say something in the corners here, and I can't breathe. So I don't know whether there's something wrong there with, with the nose or. Hmm, I wonder. Yeah, well, just, yeah, I just heard him say. That just see the trainer there, the, the hutch, they just, just like, no, I can't breathe. Well, the penultimate round here. Not too far to go. I know what that means now. To what should be a return to winning ways. I know you learn on the job. You, you taught me so much, sir. It's not such a tricky word. I thought fruition. Next to last. I thought fruition was fruitation for about two years. <laughs> he loves this sort of three quarter range, doesn't he, Woodstock? I just get the impression his work rate is just dropping just a touch in the seventh round. Maybe if he has, is having problems with his breathing. He's caught there. Walks straight into that left hand. If he is having problems, maybe that's uh, evidence of it. Oh, lovely there from Gonzalez. See, uh, nothing that Woodstock's thrown trouble Gonzalez, and he was happy there just to take it on the, on the elbows and fire back straight away. And if he had been more spiked in his punches, this would be a little bit more difficult fight and, and, and force Woodstock to up his, up his level a little bit. But it still feels to me, even though Gonzalez has, has made him work, it still feels to me that there's a few more gears he's got to go through, Woodstock, if, if he needed to. Well, and after the reverse of last October, <laughs> so important that he got back or gets back to winning ways. Yeah, of course, he really is. And, and a decent test, you know, not, not a guy who's, who's really going to beat him, but a, a better, a, tough, a little tough opponent than someone who's just going to run around and he's got to chase. You know, some of, the, some of these Eastern Europeans you get who don't come over, just run around the ring, make it a difficult night's work, and he looks scrappy. At least it's been a, a guy who's fired back, which makes, you, makes him more a realistic type, type of, of opponent. Gonzalez doesn't win too many, but 
to use a, a boxing phrase. He oh. keeps keeps his man honest, doesn't he? He does. Good right hand there for Gonzalez, but it was it was Woodstock's fault. He's spinning around too close to the target, I think, there with his hands down. Telegraphing his intent to look for the uppercuts. Oh, nice. oh good shot. Terrific left hand from Woodstock right on the bell to end the round. Well, he really looked as though he tagged him with that left hand at the end of the round. Solid right hand from Gonzalez there. Just spinning too close to the target without the left hand one up high enough. Oh, look at that, it's a lovely right hand left hook. And because he dips the head when he swings the body there. So he's moving the head with the body as well, just swinging oh, it over, just get a little bit more seconds. weight on it, more leverage on the shot there. Woodstock. Gonzalez showing that he's got a good chin. Took it well. For the eighth and final round. Saw it out, and now just one round to go. Fought in a good spirit. Well, something's uh, camera. Well, it's the camera, is it? Oh, okay. Not our camera. It was uh, one of the one of the one of the newspaper boys, I think. If that was in Wales, the, the referee that picked that up and sold that. <laughs> now, if I'd said that, you'd have been annoyed. That's right. I would have. No, I would have. I would have. It don't sound the same, John. Your your. Well spoken accent. <laughs> That's good from Wilson. Good footwork. He's been alright tonight. He's been an enjoyable fight. And, you know, oh, good shot there from Gonzalez. Yeah, a solid one, wasn't it? Left hand would look as though it landed pretty flush. He's got, good, he's got a good little tough workout here, Woodstock, and I think you know he showed flashes of some of this good work we know he can produce. And also he's been caught a little bit too much than more often than we thought he would in this sort of fight. Good body shot, Gonzalez. I don't know what uh, I don't know what he's being paid for this, uh, Joe Gonzalez, but he's certainly giving value for money. Last minute of the fight. Loaded up on that left hook there, Gonzalez. Yeah, if you're uh, a future potential opponent of Leon Woodstock and looking at this one, you'd say, yeah, he's got some good moves, but you can you can get to him. Yeah, but I, I just think he's got a bit of a bad rhythm, Woodstock. He hasn't been a bad, that bad of a performance, but I think you know he's just been a little bit methodical at times with the pushing the punches every now and again. But, but we've seen him in the past with more snap in his shots, and I think he's shown it in glimpses in this fight. Good right uppercut inside again. Punch has served him well through the fight. Another good attack. Oh, oh and another one. Great right hand. <laughs> oh, and he's finished it with a right hand and a left hand. Down he goes in the last few seconds of the final round. And he's got to his feet and he's going to see it through to the bell. But what a way to finish it for Leon Woodstock. Just too late to be able to force the stoppage, but he's won it and won it clearly. He has, and I think he had, he had so many more gears to go through if he chew, if he, if he chew. I think he just wanted to show a little bit of physical strength, and I think that last round was the, was, was the perfect example where he just was happy to stay in close, took a few too many shots than he should, 
but he knew Gonzalez had no power to trouble him and just tried to push him back. And it was a little bit, and the uppercuts all night have been what have been working for obviously for Liam Woodstock. And again, that was the start of, of the knockdown as well with that lovely uppercut. Word of credit for Sergio Gonzalez, though, he really gave it a go. You want to see him over here again. I think you know, these are the sort of tests that, that younger prospects you know, early in their career would, 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 should have. Oh, so they're lovely, they're solid shots there from Woodstock, they really are. Right uppercut started it, then the right hand over the top, and then the left hook, and down he goes. No surprise it was a right uppercut that started it off, that's been the, the punch of the night for Woodstock. It's going to take a lot of positives from this, I think. And move on, maybe towards another title fight later in the year, but for the meantime, another victory, and here's Thomas Triber. Ladies and gentlemen, after eight rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. Kevin Parker, our referee in charge, scores it 80 to 71 in favor of your winner, Lehan, the Lion Woodstar. So a complete shutout and a two point round for the knockdown in the last. Leon Woodstock, an emphatic winner, back to winning ways after that defeat last year. Thank you.